Now we will start with LOS derivative market and instruments. Number one is define a derivative that we have already done. Difference between ETC and OTC. Difference between forward commitment and contingent claim. Difference between forward future options and swap. Purpose and criticism of derivative market. Now forward contract. As I have already explained, forward contract is a contract between two parties where one party agrees to buy and another party agrees to sell an underlying asset at a pre-decided price at a pre-decided date. If you generally look at example in your life, you will find lot of forward contract with you and much bankers. Forward contract is very much customized. It is OTC over the counter trade where there is no exchange in between buyer and seller then it is cash settlement or delivery a forward contract can be either cash settlement and deliverable forward contract now what do I mean by cash settlement is suppose I am an exporter I enter into a contract with a bank and I I am entering into a contract for selling dollars which I am expecting I will receive after 3 months. Price is 54. Forward price is 54 Indian rupees is equal to 1 US dollar. Today current price, sport price is 52 US dollar. The 52 Indian rupees is equal to 1 US dollar. Right? So I will be delivering dollars to bank after three months now what I can do is either I can deliver dollars at a pre-decided date which is equal to 54 now if dollar again depreciate and goes to 55 being a seller of a contract I will be losing 1 Indian rupees equal to 1 US dollar if it appreciate it again come back to 45 I will be in gain of 9 rupees per US dollar. So what I am entering in is, if I don't deliver dollar after 3 months and just settle contract in cash, if it goes up, I have to pay because I am a seller of a contract. If it goes down, if Indian rupee appreciate, I will receive dollars from, difference of dollars from bank. That will be called cash settlement. Now if we talk about deliverable settlement, being a seller of a contract, when I expect I will be receiving dollars from US and I have already sent in consignment to US, after 3 months I will be expecting dollars from US and will be delivering dollars to bank. Why? Because I have already entered into a contract. If the price goes to 60 or price goes to 40, I am indifferent to price. I will deliver at a price which has already been decided by us. Price is 54. So I will deliver dollars and I will receive 54 rupees. This is called deliverable contract. Now default risk. As I have already explained, forward contract depends on credibility of both parties. If one party default, other party cannot do anything and if other party default one party will I mean cannot do anything so this is a very big challenge in, in front of forward contract there is no upfront premium you do not pay any premium to seller seller doesn't know doesn't pay any premium to buyer because there is no exchange in between this is very much mutual contract because why they don't pay premium because they are not exchanging anything today Today they are just deciding value of asset, price of forward asset, time, expiry and other terms and conditions of a contract. Whether it will be cash settled or will it be deliverable contract. They are not exchanging any asset. Buyer is not giving cash to seller or seller is not delivering asset to buyer. Now, Coming to termination of forward contract. You cannot square off forward contract. 
once you enter into a formal contract with party A, unlike future contract, you cannot square. So what you can do? You can another enter into a contract with third party or with the same party. You will reverse your trade. Earlier you were buyer, and after some time, dollar depreciate, and you are making money. Being a buyer of dollar, you buy at fifty-two. Now it is trading at fifty-four, and you are making money. But your time has not still expired. You have four months in hand. So what you can do is, you can again enter into a contract. Now this time you will be seller of a contract. In last contract, you bought dollar at fifty-two. Now dollar is trading at fifty-four. So you will sell dollar this time. You can sell this dollar to another party or to the same party. So by doing this, you are have already unlocked two rupees of your profit. So this is one way of termination of forward contract, entering into a reverse contract.